Tom. How are you doing, mate? All right. Thanks for joining us. That's all right, no worries. So, um, what's the mood in the camp ahead of Saturday? That's yeah, good. I think the boys are now looking forward to it. Um, everyone's buzzing. Uh, I think that sometimes these weeks turn into a bit of a long weeks. It seems to go on for a, a while. Um, get the training done, and now I think everyone's really looking forward to it. They just want to get into it now. So, next 24 hours and then 48 hours, uh, I think we really just want to get it underway now. So, what is your preparation for, for kind of a big game like this? Um, What's a Friday night and a Saturday morning like? <laughs> well, I say, I'll, I'll speak for most of the lads, especially on the games like this. I think near enough every game, I should say. I mean, I'm, we do, all the lads stay in, or well, I hope they do anyway. <laughs> um, and I think it's just about getting as much preparation, as much rest as they can, and uh, meet here Saturday, and then we go from there. So basically, just looking after ourselves as much as we can. Yeah. Uh, just talking to Danny about this being the first away game that we've had in the run, which is quite strange, really. Um, and, what impact does that have on the players? And, um... well, it's obviously, it's always, especially in a competition like this, of, with all the travelling, especially on later on, you always look for a home draw. Um, I'll add a few texts, obviously, the home draws always, always sort of count as later on this competition goes. It's not too bad for a Saturday, I don't think, because the travelling's not too far. I mean, it could be a lot worse. So even though you have to travel a little bit and you're away in front of more their fans, you've got that sort of thing. But we have been lucky. Um, we all, a home draw is always nice, but... Going to motion is not too bad for us. It could be a lot worse. And travelling together on the coach, will that have, um, you know, will that sort of bring the, the team together and really get us? Yeah, I'm, I'm a big, I'm a big believer in stuff like that. Always have been. Um, it's always been good to sort of keep everyone together, especially sort of competitions like that or, or travel away. It's good to keep everyone together instead of tra- travelling down there and people turning up what sort of times and dribs and drabs. Get everyone down there, get everyone together. And you get everyone in a buoyant mood and you get down there and we've always been together and we can go from there. So, so I think it's, it's, it's good to do something like that. It's the furthest that we've been in the bars as a club. Mm-hmm. Um, how much is that on your mind and mind of the players? To be fair, I, I, I mean, I never really knew this. I'll be Melbourne at Fats for so long and never really know how much they've been to the bars, how far they've been to the bars. Um, obviously, the further we've gone into competition, sort of, it's always come up, um, whether it's social media or sort of Danny's reminding us. Um, uh, for me, it hasn't really been on my mind a lot. I think every, every round you just want to progress to see how far we get. Um, obviously, we got to this stage now. Obviously, it's nice to create history and be that team to go that one, one step further. But I think come Saturday, it's sort of just another game as in terms of we, it, so much is on the line. We want to be into that next ra- round, no matter if it's history or not. So. What's the furthest you've been as a player? I'm, I've done rubbish in competitions. <laughs> uh, FA Cups, vases. Uh, f- uh, I don't think it's the first couple of rounds. I think uh, Hungford, we went away to Dorchester on the FA Cup. The FA Vars has been early rounds, so I'm pretty rubbish when it comes to competitions. So. So you've quite been enjoying this run from a personal point of view. Then. I have, yes. I'll say, at, at, you, at the beginning, obviously, I'm, I'm not one of them. Maybe Danny does, and a few of the other lads might sit there and say, of course you want to say, I want to win the Vars. But at the beginning, you sort of just say, you, en- you enter it with. Um, being a distraction from the league and sort of enjoying it and obviously the further rounds you've gone I've sort of, I've got a buzz for it I don't, I don't, I don't want it to end you know you, you get so far um, I don't want to be coming off that pitch saying you know we've lost and oh, I'm lucky you can concentrate on the league I, I want to go as far as I can, can can now so you get to a certain point and you just you do want more of it I, I must admit you, do, you don't want it to end it, it is uh, I mean the scenes down here obviously the last round was unbelievable I've never experienced played in front of a few, few decent crowds and stuff but the atmosphere that it was um, you do want more of it. You're not going to lie. Obviously, your leagues are bread and butter, um, and you hope to attract a few more. But something like that, you, you want to carry on. Um, so yeah, definitely want more of it. And what can you say to any fans who um, maybe were down here for the Bromsbury game and uh, uh, wondering about the, whether to make the trip? Yeah, obviously, I, I think I'd like to say it sells itself. Quarter final of the FA Vars. Um, obviously, the, the the fans down there last and the support was unbelievable, phenomenal. I have had a few texts saying quite a few people are going um, and going to make the travel. So uh, I think they, they won't be disappointed. Um, I think the lads will give a good account of themselves, and we're definitely trying to put on a show. What kind of game will it be? What, what how are we going to? Match up against the opponents. Well, we've sort of, without giving too much away, we have we have just worked on them, or we have gone through a little bit of what they're about. I mean, I know a few of the old um, lads we used to play against Frome from in, in the old Southern League days. I think we know they're going to be quite direct, quite physical, quite strong. I think we've just got to match it. And I think if we can um, go there with our game plan and do what we usually do, and are confident um, there will only be one winner. But obviously, I don't want to be overconfident, but enough to, to back our lads that we can do a job. Okay. Well, good luck with it. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate that. Yeah, cheers, mate. Thank you.